they took such a long time is that the leadership of the Tamil people came from the so same social club that the singular leadership came. They uh, shouted in parliament and then went to the club and drank from the same uh, uh, cups. The current leadership is coming from a very different source, which is from grassroots level. That's, I think, the change. And I think that uh, the Tamil leader, the militant leadership decided that, you know, this type of, uh, you know, pussyfooting around mm -hmm. is not going to work. Mm -hmm. The only thing that will bring the Sinhalese leaders to uh, any form of negotiation is weapons, full stop. When uh, peaceful protests fail, the uh, armed struggle is about the only struggle possible. There's no other option. So you're saying it's very much justifiable? Not justifiable, essential. Or <laughs> you can remain as you have been yeah. in the last 50 years, sitting under the table of the single people and to pick up crumbs from the, from the table. Uh, they have talked about disarming the Tamil Tigers. Yes, you can disarm them, no problem about that. You'll be also uh, sending the Tamil people to a genocidal extinction. Th th these people are uh, not... They're, it's not acts of terror that they're mm. committing. They're trying to liberate the Tamil people from Sinhala domination. Mm. And the only language that they will understand is a weapon struggle. You're uh, observing the Sri Lankan politics from day one, I would say. That is very, you can go back from British uh, colony time. Um, I want to talk about uh, the leaders, the past prime ministers and uh, presidents, right? Uh, there are, they were Senanayaka family, the Dudley Senanayaka, D.S. Senanayaka, then Bandanayaka family, S.W.R.D. Bandanayaka, Srimava Bandanayaka, then uh, their daughter, Chantrika Bandanayaka, Kumarathunga. Then there were Jayavadane, Premadasa, Ranil Vikramasinghe, and now uh, Mr. Rajabaksha. How would you rate them? Well, I would rate them as steadily getting worse. No question about that. And today, we face probably one of the most dangerous presidents that we have ever had. And my cousin, being one of the contenders for that post of worst president, mm -hmm. I think that's saying a lot. I mean, she's the lady who bombed, carpet bombed Jaffna with half a million people. And Boutros Boutros Ghali, the uh, Secretary General, said, appealed to the international community and said to uh, co be concerned about the displaced people of Jaffna. Now, this guy is even worse than that. I mean, he... I mean, you can't say that he didn't know about the Chencholai bombing. Well, I mean, he is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, for heaven's sake. He is the president, and if he didn't know about the Chencholai well, bombing, then he should resign or sack the whole caboose. Were there any good leader uh, in the past, and they missed the bus, missed the chance? Yes, there was, mm -hmm. and that is Chandrika Kumantunga's husband, visionary mm -hmm. husband, Vijay Kumantunga, whom I spent one whole afternoon with, and when I got up, uh, I said, Vijay, it has been a pleasure uh, to have met, and he said the same with you. And I said, when I come back to Sri Lanka again, that was in 1984, I said, I hope we will have another chat. And he got up and said, uh, yes, it would be delightful to meet you again, if I am alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he wasn't. What do you think about the uh, Tamil leaders uh, from uh, Sir Bun Ramanathan uh, Arunachalam time to now? Oh, oh, is there any good leaders in your mind? Well, talking of Ponamblam, uh, Ramanathan, uh, this is purely incidental. I picked up a book published on, it's called Ramanathan of Ceylon. Mm -hmm. uh, and I hope that uh, somebody in the audience with money to spare will mm -hmm. translate this, not translate, reprint this book. Because it talks of uh, days in the 1915, in the Singhala riots, etc., of here the Tamil leader standing up mm -hmm. for the Singhalese. Um, I don't know much more about uh, Ramanathan except you know that he was a tremendous uh, uh, figure in terms of elocution. That has not been the problem. The, uh, at, le at least it has been the problem with the Tamil leaders that they have thought that making great speeches in Parliament addresses the problem. The main problem has been, and I mean no disrespect to the Tamil leaders, is that they, they had no touch, they were not in touch with the ground problem. They didn't come from the ground and the current leadership does. I mean, a lot of the people that we're referring to uh, came from Columbus 7, uh, including my wife. And they have the Columbus 7 mentality. Mm -hmm. uh, and my wife, for, after 49 years of marriage, uh, she's only just come to realize that there was a time we have a problem. 
And a couple of years ago, this is after some 47 years of marriage, she said, Brian, the Tamils do have a problem. I said, is that right? They're just <laughs> telling me something I just didn't know all these years. And mind you, she is the one who has checked every paper of the scores that I have written. But that's been the problem with the Tamil leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, just come to the current situation, the CFA, uh, the ceasefire agreement. Uh, there was a need for it, uh, but how do you see the CFA and the return uh, and signed by both sides? The greatest need for the CFA mm -hmm. was that the Singara government was going broke. That was the need for, need for the CFA. Uh, I, I don't know that many of your readers, uh, maybe even yourself, mm -hmm. are aware that soon after the CFA, what did this great hero, Rani Vikramasinghe, do? He jumped into a plane and came his, and put his arm around mm -hmm. President Bush and asked for more funds. For what? To fight the Tamil people. In fact, the CFA, the, despite all the negotiations uh, that, that occurred, uh, the LTT pulled out for a very good reason, because mm -hmm. Ranil Vikramasinghe, a smooth talker, didn't actually deliver. And now they're talking in terms of Vikramasinghe going into alliance with uh, Rajapaksa. Uh, I've written a paper on this saying the entire Sinhala leadership won one extreme uh, of the spectrum to the other. They're all mm -hmm. undoubtedly anti-Tamil. Right. Some of the UNP leaders openly said uh, before the election last time that they planned that Karuna's split uh, indirectly uh, and it happened. Is it, uh, do you think it's, it's very well planned or just happened and now they're uh, taking the credit? No, I don't think so. I, this is the sort of hypocrisy mm -hmm. of the single leadership. I mean, when um, the Tamils did not vote uh, for uh, at the presidential mm -hmm. election, uh, they said, oh, you know, breach of democracy, they should have voted. Uh, I mean, it is not for the Tamils, and I identify myself with the Tamils. In fact, I of, uh, often call the Tamil people my Tamil people, because they are. I mean, it's not for us on the Tamil side to make a to help the Sinhalese to choose an anti-Tamil leader. That's their business. Mm. If they want to choose someone who has dipped his fingers, uh, paws, into the tsunami till just a couple of months before the presidential ele election, they're happy with that. That's their problem. If they want to choose someone like Chandrika Kumantunga as their leader, uh, someone who has carpet bomb Jaffna, their problem. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think that we, on the Tamil side, need to get involved choosing a singular leader who is anti-Tamil. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ronald Vikramasinghe, uh, there's a, some part of the world have an opinion he's a, he's a leader, he can solve the problem. Do you think? Well, 1983, um, uh, the violence in Colombo, uh, it broke out on Sunday, as you may remember. Uh, there was silence on mm -hmm. Tuesday, silence on Wednesday, and Wednesday night, three young ministers came and gave an interview. One of those three was Ranil, and he said that the Tamil businessmen deserve what they got. And this is the man that you are hoping to get a solution from. Now, I think that uh, he's just a smooth talker. This guy, the current uh, guy who's in power, he's not a smooth <laughs> talker. Uh, I mean, he is more at home uh, in the village in Hambantota. Uh, but uh, he's not able to put his arm around Bush, that's for sure. Uh, when he came here, I think uh, he spent a great deal of money living in the Waldorf Astoria or something like that. But I don't think he, he hasn't got the same smoothness mm -hmm. as uh, Ranjit Vikram Singh.